Hey, Governor, thanks for taking our questions. Um, the president has been talking uh, a lot about reopening schools. He um, suggested today that he could withhold funding from states that don't do enough and pressure governors. The vice president, on the other hand, said that they could reward states that reopen with funding. So my question for you is, as California tries to figure out how to reopen those schools, obviously a huge issue for parents and teachers and kids alike, what do you need from the federal government to ensure that happens? And do you fear repercussions if, for example, there aren't enough teachers willing to go to schools to reopen them, and then there could be some federal penalties? Yeah, I, I, I'm not worried about the latest tweets, and, and I can give you uh, ad nauseum examples uh, of why um, I concluded that that's not the issue that we need to address. What we need to address is safely reopening the schools, uh, and we need to make that a foundational principle. Uh, that to me is non-negotiable. We have to safely reopen our schools. And we also have to reconcile what is also non-negotiable, and that is we must insist upon learning the beginning of the school year. Uh, we provided, as I mentioned a moment ago, two months of PPE. We are procuring more PPE to provide even more support uh, for our educational system, not just K through 12, but our preschools and obviously our uh, system of higher education as well to help support their efforts. That's why we have to continue to do more on face shields, uh, masks, gloves, uh, and gowns and the like, deep sanitation uh, and other uh, procurement, which is foundational in terms of safely reopening the schools. Number two, uh, we uh, put together statutory language in our budget that incentivizes the kind of learning that we think is more advantageous, which is in-person learning. But we also provided flexibility in our statutory language in the approved budget. By the way, that includes $5 billion for learning loss and safely reopening the school system, support that we were able to draw down from the federal government already. So I think that's an important point uh, to note. Uh, and we are providing uh, the flexibility based upon local conditions. I know it sounds almost like a mantra, but it's foundational. In a state, again, as large as California, 1,000 plus school districts, uh, conditions are unique and distinctive. Classrooms, physical classrooms are such where you can't have the physical distancing that you can in other classroom environments in different parts of the state. All of these things uh, need to be managed at the local level uh, with the foundational framework of keeping our kids and, as you suggest, Jeremy, our teachers healthy and safe. And yes, I fear that more than I fear a tweet. 